Well, happy Friday, everybody. Uh, good to be with you here and just wanted to share with you some information from your Baldwin County Sheriff's Office as we go into our third week dealing with COVID-19 and going into the upcoming weekend. First of all, I uh, want to thank everybody for all the support uh, that we have gotten uh, in the area of public safety and law enforcement. Uh, it's been a difficult time, but we've been trying to meet all the calls and all the challenges, all the things that we're tasked to do during this time. Uh, I wanted to give you an update uh, as far as the operations of the Sheriff's Office. Uh, your Sheriff's Office continues to operate, uh, doing all the things that we normally are tasked to do, with the only exception being our public lobbies, of course, are still closed and they'll remain closed throughout this next week. Now, it doesn't mean that we haven't still been doing a lot of the things that we normally do. We're still serving all of our papers. We're still dealing with our law enforcement function, answering our calls as normal. Uh, taking care of the different things that we deal with on a daily basis with the courts. However, our courthouses remain closed and there's not any in-person court actions that are continuing to happen. We have converted most of those operations now are being handled by video. I want to personally thank our presiding circuit judge, Scott Taylor, our district attorney, Robert Wilters, who have been working with us so well in doing that as well as multiple defense attorneys in our county as we continue to move our inmates uh, through the court system as best we can during this time. Uh, we continue to issue concealed carry permits. Uh, you can do that through the mail. I'm going to give you some information on that in a minute. And we continue to handle a lot of other things. We would ask as we go through this time that you still uh, abide by the uh, order that has been set forth by Governor Ivey that actually began back on March the 13th and continues to this day. And that is, of course, that you uh, maintain a safe social distance from everybody uh, of six feet, that you don't attend a gathering of 10 or more people, uh, that you maintain trying to stay at home as much as you can during this time because we want to make sure that we restrict the exposure uh, to this virus. Now, there's not a statewide shelter at home in place right now, but voluntarily you can do that and help us by, once again, staying close to your house making sure that you restrict your movement as much as possible. Now you still can go out to the grocery store, you can still keep your medical appointments, you can still do all those things that are necessary that you need to do every day. But if you can, restrict your movement, uh, stay close to home, uh, and let's get this thing down as quickly as possible so that we can get back to uh, our normal operations and our normal lives here in Baldwin County. Uh, you've heard me say it before, we're Baldwin Countyans and we're Baldwin Strong. Uh, we have a lot of great things to be thankful for in this community. And one of the things that I have seen over the past few weeks has been the spirit of our business community, of our uh, spiritual community, of our health community. Uh, everybody's coming together and that's so important during these times. We need to continue to come together. Now oftentimes that's doing what we're doing today uh, through social media, uh, through Facebook, uh, through FaceTime and those different things. But if you get the opportunity this weekend, reach out to your family, reach out to your friends, be encouraging. Uh, you know, if you have the opportunity to attend the church of your choice on Sunday through virtual uh, media, through social media, uh, all the churches now are pretty much offering online services and I would encourage you to join with me as I will be doing that with my church on Sunday. So keep everybody in your prayers and we particularly are thankful for our first responders, uh, our uh, ambulance people, our fire departments that respond, our law enforcement and especially thankful for our health care workers who have now become the front line. Uh, in this situation, our nurses, our doctors, and all the assistants that work in our hospitals. Every hospital has a multitude of individuals that are necessary to be at work so that our hospital functions can continue. So go to our website. Uh, you can like us as you already have on Facebook. Uh, we'll be posting a notice following this video that will give you detailed instructions on how to get a concealed carry permit, how to check on court documents, how to arrange for inmate visitation if you have a friend or family member that's in our correction center that you want to visit with, as well as other procedures. Stay tuned in to our Baldwin County EMA. Uh, you can also go on to their website 
their Facebook page and they've actually started a new application for text messaging notices. Uh, you can get that as well as on our phone app. You can go to our phone application and click right in the center of that phone app on the app COVID-19 and you can get up-to-date information on that as well. So thank you for sharing a few minutes out of your day with us uh, today. Uh, we'll continue on. We're going to work together through this. We're going to be just fine, but it's going to take us a little while longer to work through with this. Obviously, if you have any questions, don't hesitate to Facebook uh, question or message us, and we'll get that back to you just as soon as we can. Hope everybody is safe. Hope everybody is healthy. God bless and have a great weekend.